Okay, in this tech video, what I'm going to be trying to do um, is install the Tango Down I.O. cover for the Aimpoint T1, but I'm not going to be installing this on an Aimpoint. What I'm going to be using is the Primary Arms MDAD Red Dot Sight, which is very, very similar in uh, its external construction to the Aimpoint T1. If you've watched my previous videos, you know um, I've done uh, a couple of reviews of this particular red dot and I, I like it very much. This particular one has um, flip-up caps on it. So the fact that the Tango Down I.O. cover has caps on it is kind of redundant for this particular site. But I couldn't find any information anywhere about whether or not you can put one of these T1 covers on the primary arms red dot site and I can't believe nobody's ever tried to do this so um, I bought this cover specifically to see if I could fit it on here um, it's obvious it, uh, you can see it's flat dark earth it matches the other hardware that I run on my SBR and that's specifically why I bought this uh, I don't need the functionality of the lens cap covers here because I have these but you know these actually these actually come off so I can just take these off and if I want to run the lens cap covers that uh, come with the um, MDA or the uh, if I want to run the lens cap covers that come with the uh, Tango Down cover I can do that um, I do believe let's see um, this particular red dot has uh, extensions on it um, to accommodate the lens caps. And I know the front is removable. You see I'm kind of turning it here. I haven't really played around with this a whole lot. I know you can remove this so you can put uh, like an, an anti-flash device on here. And yeah, I can unscrew this extension. And I'm not sure if I can unscrew the rear extension. I'm assuming I can unscrew it. So uh, anyway, I'm not sure if I can remove this rear extension, and I'm not I'm I'm not 100% sure how well this will fit on here with these extensions. Uh, if I wanted to use these caps, so I got the front extension off fairly easy. Uh, the rear one, I'm not sure if that comes off as a, a simple twist off. It's not moving. Um, but uh, what I'm going to try and do is, uh, first off, I'm going to flip this around. I'll show you the other side of the site and uh, in comparison to uh, the Tango Down cover. Okay, on the opposite side of the primary arms MDAD site, um, you can see that the primary orientation um, for the uh, adjustments for this site are, are very similar to the T1. You've got the uh, one on the top and one on the side, and your dial adjustment is actually on the side of the site, which is very important if you look at the cutouts on this Tango Down cover. And what I noticed um, looking at this off camera is that this Tango Down cover is not going to work on a Bushnell TRS-25. And the reason it isn't going to work is because this dial is actually up at an angle um, like this. So it won't work with this cover without some extensive modification to the cover. And I wasn't really going to explore that option um, because I did... I, I did not purchase this Tango Down I.O. cover to uh, put on a Bushnell TRS-25, but it would be good to know if uh, it was would be doable. Uh, so I might do another video with another Tango Down cover and see if I can modify it and get it to work and see what it looks like. So stay tuned for, for that. But in the meantime, I'm uh, going to try and get this cover on here. And first off, I'm, I'm going to take this off camera and see if I can remove this little extension back here um, because I just don't think that uh, I'm going to be able to stretch this cap 
all the way over that extension because um, this did not come with any type of instructions. Uh, so I'm assuming that you've got to kind of start at one angle and kind of stretch this over uh, and uh, get it over your site. And uh, I, I think that extension is going to be a problem. So I'm going to take this off camera, see if I can uh, address that particular issue, and then we'll come back and, and see what, what it's going to take to get this installed. As always, uh, to effectively do anything like this, I've got to put it in my lap uh, to work with it. And here is um, um, what I found out. Um, earlier you saw me remove this front lens extension. Uh, very important to remove that so you can get this on. I found though that with this lens extension off, there's nothing for this front cap to snap onto. So this front cap here will snap uh, over this extension on the front. So that works just fine. Now the rear though, um, the rear ca lens cap is obviously not designed to go over this extension. And this particular extension I cannot get off. I don't know exactly how it comes off. It's on there pretty tight and there's probably a special tool to do that. And I don't want to put a vice grips or anything on there and, and muck it up. So uh, I'm not going to be able to use this rear lens cap cover uh, the way that sits. So uh, if you were deciding to use this Tango Down cover on your primary arms MDAD, um, this front extension uh, is necessary. This rear one, I believe you need to remove so the cap will snap over it. The cap's going to have to snap on to the actual um, cover itself. I'm not sure if that, that will even work um, or not because I can't get this off. To help install this, um, I installed it from, obviously I'm, I can't show that, but I installed it in, in this direction with this extension off. And what I did was I took my heat gun and I applied a little bit of heat to this. Um, not a lot, but um, you know, when things are warm, they stretch uh, much better and they're more malleable. So uh, if you've got a hair dryer or something, uh, you can get a little heat on this and get a little bit more malleable. It's easier to uh, maneuver because you've got to pull it and stretch it. And uh, let me flip this around and we'll take a look at the other side. And when you're pulling this over, um, you've got to get this strip right here over this uh, adjustment dial. I found it easier if, if uh, to take this cover and the battery out. Um, that way I did not have to stretch this piece as far. Um, you can take these caps off too. Uh, that gives you a little bit more clearance as well. Because the one thing you want to do when stretching something like this is you don't want to stretch it too much because uh, you could easily tear it. So you got to be real careful doing that. Um, I got it on here. The notch right in the top there that shows what setting your dial is um, is almost perfectly aligned for the primary arms. It's off just a, a little bit and I'm not I'm not sure if you can catch that Let's see if I can focus on that area. It's off a little bit um, and if you're real picky about this you could go in with an exacto and cut out a little piece right here near the front so you can see the complete number. Um, as it is, the, it, the cover is partially covering the, num the top of the number just a little bit. I can still make out what the numbers are, but uh, if you want to see the full numbers, you might want to, you would have to do a little bit of uh, trimming right there. Uh, on the front, well, let's see, there's not an easy way for me to show the front cover here. How about on the side? Um, you can see on the front cover here, um, there's a little bit of a bow right here um, that um, I, I use the heat gun on this a little bit to try and get this. Uh, it's obviously stretched a little bit, so there's some dimensions on this outer casing that are a little bit larger than the T1. Um, it doesn't look... Um, yeah, maybe that's a better angle. It's kind of bowed right here. It's 
kind of bowed right here uh, just a little bit, which tells me some of the dimensions are off just a smidgen. Um, not that noticeable, in my opinion. Um, I like um, I like this cover on here. Unfortunately, if I can't get this uh, uh, rear extension off, I can't really use these caps. So, uh, if you buy one of these um, primary arms, these MDADs without these extensions, you you might have uh, some better luck using these covers. Um, Again, um, the front one with, with this, with this uh, extension piece off, this cap doesn't snap on here. And I think it's because the dimensions of the primary arms is a little bit bigger and it's stretched out this cover. Uh, so you really need to have the extension on the front. And I think on the rear, you need to remove it and then the cap might be usable. But, you know, worst case scenario for me, I might just cut these rubber cap covers off and stick to using the uh, flip-up lens covers. And what I'm going to actually do with this primary arms red dot, um, these flip-up lens cap covers um, have solid, um, solid caps on them. And I'm probably going to get some uh, caps that have clear on them. Um, I did that with my Aimpoint Pro. Uh, the Aimpoint Pro came with a clear rear flip-up cap and the front was solid and I replaced the front with a clear. So, you know, if you grab your firearm um, in, in an emergency situation and you're, you're not thinking about it, you can, you know, uh, um, get, on, get on target real fast and you don't have to worry about flipping up uh, uh, lens caps because both of them are clear. Uh, that's just how I prefer to have my lens caps. Um, You can see that I can put these lens cap covers back on with uh, this Tango Down IO cover. Um, let's see here. You see right in this area right here, you can tell where the um, uh, Tango Down cover is a little stretched uh, due to some variances in uh, the outer casing. But I like the look of the flat dark earth uh, cover on this primary arms red dot even though I probably can't really use these these caps on the side and I don't know I can you know with these caps snapped together uh, they're not in the way um, so I can just leave those like that and uh, call it good so um, for for taking uh, something like this that was designed for a completely different product and having it fit so well on somebody else's product, um, that's absolutely awesome. Um, normally, the, it, things don't work out that way. Um, when something is designed, like this cover, when it's designed specifically for an Aimpoint T1 or an H1 or an R1, that's pretty much all it's going to fit. Um, to get such a good fit on the primary arms red dot with this cover is great. Uh, I like the, the fit. It's you know, I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, the fit on this is probably a 9. It's not totally perfect, but it's really close. And the installation, again, um, it's not something I could really show you, unfortunately, because uh, i got to have that in my lap to do it. And uh, the only thing I would recommend is um, use a hair dryer, uh, get some heat on it, get it a little bit more malleable so it's, you can stretch it more without risk of uh, tearing it. Um, I like the way it looks on the rifle. The flat dark earth of the Tango Down cover is almost a spot on match for the flat dark earth of this Magpul um, uh, SL handguard. Uh, so it's a great addition um, to this SBR. Um, so I'm, I'm real happy with uh, the product and the fact that it's, it fits very well on um, the Primary Arms MDAD Red Dot. So I'm going to quit yapping and wrap this video up um, concerning the uh, Tango Down IO cover for the Aimpoint T1 installed on Primary Arms MDAD Red Dot site.